Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be creating a Pulu shader in Maya Zarnold. So the final result is going to be something like this. If I render this out, it looks pretty okay. And um, it's a pretty simple shader, but um, it's really effective and quick. So let's get started straight ahead. So I opened up the new scene and let's get started by creating a polyplane. So I can scale this up and remove this subdivision since we don't need it. So now we got it. And next we need to apply a new material on this mesh. Let's go ahead with AI standard surface. Now we got this with the default setting. And um, let's leave that out for now. And let's create a light. And go with the area light or sky light and whatever light you like. But sky light is really effective and efficient in time. So, with this guide on light, I'm going to connect a file texture to get more detail in the background and the actual lightings. So we can see some nice detailed reflections on the surface. So, let's go ahead with um, cloudy sky right there. So now I got this environment map and now we can work on this one. If we render this out now, let's try this out. Yeah, it's visible. Fine. But let's set the intensity to to make it a little more clear. So okay. Next, I'm going to work on this AI standard surface material. So let's open up a hypershade to work on this a little bit easier. So let's load the graph network of that AI standard surface. Now we got this thing. And first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to connect a file, file node to the base color of that shader so to do so press tab and type file and there we go with the texture and you can um load the image file to that file node and we can pick the out color and connect it to base color very simple and now it is going to appear in the render view. Pretty simple. Let me just stretch it out a little bit. Okay. Now we got this flat. Um, colored shader there but to make this uh, look more believable we should add some details in um, details by adding some normal map or bump map or even displacement map but in this tutorial um, I'm going to use a bump map but I don't have any um, specific maps for the bump but I'm going to use the alpha channel of this color map. Um, it's not that bad way um, for this case, um, since it's got pretty nice clarity. And uh, in the um, image, it's got pretty nice detail. 
pretty nice detail. So let's go ahead. Let's click the file. But I'm not really gonna use it. I'm gonna pick the alpha from the color map and that's how it appears. Yeah, it seems to be fine, but we should lower the bump depth a little bit. Now it's got more detail on the surface. And let's see in the actual render view. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, okay, now we've got the ground, and now it's time to add some poles on the surface. To create poles procedurally, we need uh, procedural textures first. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use a fractal texture, but you can use any kind of procedural texture that is provided in Maya, such as noise, but personally, I prefer fractal. So, to create poodle kind of looking, I'm going to utilize the specular roughness and drive it using the fractal texture. So, let's try to connect it to specular roughness. Of course, the alpha channel. And before you render this out, um, the most important thing is that you should check on the alpha is luminance checkbox since it's driven by the alpha channel of that texture so it's essential so let's go back to the render view and it does not seem to be work so What's the problem? To figure that out, let's um, click on solo view and let's click on fractal texture node and see. And definitely we can see those kind of um, noise like texture that's definitely not for pool looking. So to make some poodle kind of looking what we can do is that we can just set the frequency frequency rate ratio to very low value so now we got more of a simple shape that's good for poodle okay that's very suitable so I think I like this shape and if you want more transitions between dirt and the actual portal you can tweak the ratio now you can see how it changes and um, I'm gonna set this in between so now let's see the result but it does not appear still. Why is that? Because the bump map is interrupting the specular roughness. The bump map itself has very um, kind of rough and dense um, uneven surface, so it makes the whole surface very rough. So. If you remove it, you're going to see some sort of um, like reflections right away. So how do we um, use both of them in a same time? So on the same time. So um, to do so, we can multiply these two textures uh, by using the layered texture note so it's a really efficient way when you come with this kind of problem so you can just middle mouse drag to add those two nodes into that layer texture node 
and we can remove the default one and uh, let's set this to set the blend mode to multiply that's the key factor so now we see what we want the fractal node is multiplied onto that color map so we can see that black area multiplied on the where the pools should be so that means the black means zero so the place where pool should be is gonna be perfectly flat so it's gonna be very glossy surface so now we can just um, replace the bump value with the alpha output of the layer texture so now it seems like it's working properly and um, can be your final result if you want some kind of shallow water looking and the water looks pretty clear in this case since the place the pool where the pools are are actually very nice since they're sharing the color from the um, the color map we added in the very first place so if you want some more um, dark color on that pool area we can uh, use the layer texture we just created to um, make a proper bump map to make this pool spot um, really dark or you can even do some specific color if you want anyway the point is that we can just pick the color from the layer texture and connect it to base color so now you're going to see the result it's a bit laggy okay waiting for changes to be applied now there we go it's more uh, darker in color as you can see there so it makes it look a little more deeper and very dirty so okay we're almost done and um, if you don't like the um, actual spots that pools are you can always go to uh, place to the texture node of fractal and you can just translate the frame or repeat the UV if more or less let's try that out I wanna just make those pools to be a little more bigger so now I got that kind of looking there that's more realistic I guess and uh, one more thing maybe you can tweak the ratio to uh, manipulate those fadings around the pools and um, yeah it's very quick and an efficient way to create that kind of um, realistic looking here and um, yeah that's it for this tutorial and I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and um, thanks for watching and leave a comment and if you have some alternative way or better way to do this kind of effect then please let me know bye